Now we're going to look at all three combinations together with mitts and resistance. My friend Ernie is going to help me again. Again, please note the importance of being a good pad holder. When I'm Ernie, I have to make sure he's giving reciprocal energy. That's super important. So if I were to throw a jab, Ernie's pushing equally hard in the jab. Stop halfway through, Ernie. If you'll notice, again, Ernie's body's going to look about like mine does. He's doing roughly the same things that I'm doing, such he's getting a good workout at the same time. If I throw a cross from here and stop halfway through, our bodies look very, very similar now. And that's a good thing, OK? So please, keep that in mind. First combination. Let's look at combination number two. Ernie comes to kick, I foot jab to stop, I follow jab, cross, and right kick. Again, Ernie comes to kick, stop him here, jab, cross, right kick. Ernie comes, stop him, jab, cross, right kick. Let's look at combination number three. Ernie goes to kick and I cross shield, counter cross, hook, right kick. Ernie goes to kick, I cross shield, cross hook, right kick. One more time, please. There, cross hook, and right kick. Those are the three combinations on the pads. Now we're going to put all three combinations together on the pads. Again, I have my friend Ernie to help. Note to the kicks, it's going to be the pads all the time, so we can engender work into the pads. Combination number one. Putting all three together on the pads. 